Hei guys, aku batu Bambi TV. So today gonna be reacting to. Guys, today gonna be reacting to Andrew Tate destroys feminists. Guys, Andrew Tate is a is a top G. So I feel most ladies really don't like him, but that's that choice, guys. But I feel I love his content. I love what he brings, and it's it's beautiful, guys. Let's get straight into this. There has not been in the history of humanity across any culture, any book, any story, any fable, there has never been across the history of humanity any respect put on the name of a promiscuous female ever, ever. You name the biggest conquerors that you can possibly name from history, Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, all of them. They all had a hundred wives, bunch of children, Big G conquered the world, normal. That is normal evolutionary biology. That's how men are designed to be. There's never been a single female who's been celebrated for a promiscuity ever in history. It's always been frowned upon and disgusting. So yes, we are completely and utterly different. Yes, it's different if a woman cheats on a man. And if a man is at a complete top level of his life and ticks every single box, and if he decides to be loyal, which some do, and I can be loyal, and I have been loyal, but there's also times in my life where I think, fuck it, I don't want to be, and get a new girlfriend every single day of the week. I can do that, and I can decide to do that. If a woman decides to do the same, purely because her value is high enough to attract so many males, because she's beautiful, for example, it is completely different. And I'm going to explain to you why it's completely different, so buckle up. It's hey. different. <laughs> it's different. Go. It's different. Well, I'll tell you why. Go it on, is impossible Sandy. for a female <laughs> to be promiscuous on a long enough period of time without devaluing herself. Because she is fucking people she shouldn't be fucking. There is no way she is sleeping with endless men, and all of them are either high-value men or treating her the way she should be treated. If you find a woman who slept with 50, 100 dudes, she's either fucking dudes which aren't at her level or haven't worked hard enough to try and get the pussy. She's just too drunk to realize he's a loser who plays video games. Or she's fucking a top G who barely texts her back. So either way, she's fucking dudes she shouldn't be fucking or a guy who's at the level who doesn't give her the right amount of attention. For a woman to find a guy who's truly on a level who truly treats her the way she should be treated, that's once every couple years, if that. You ain't just gonna go out there fucking a new dude every week and say, yeah, he's worth pussy. Yeah, he treats me good enough to get my pussy. Da -da -da. And you know what's funny? about the universe it's actually beautiful about the universe because it's equal and opposite forces when you devalue yourself it's kind of like men can smell it on you mm. they can just look at a bitch and go oh Ugh. and that's yeah. the way it works so you have to be very careful to think yes. and go does this man truly deserve to fuck me yeah. if you think about it the answer 99 percent of the time especially if you're promiscuous is no so when a woman <laughs> is sleeping around with all these men she's devaluing herself she's devaluing herself and the world knows god knows the universe knows when a man does it he doesn't devalue himself at all that's just the way it works. Can that's I ask you a question? Problem. Wait, that's wait, the problem. wait, wait, Esther, one second. Sir, may I ask you a question? What would you say if a woman now is married to two men? Haram. Haram. Why? <laughs> no, I'll tell you why. Let's talk about this. Mm. What is the difference between a man, let's say me, I have four wives, right? What's the difference between a man having four wives and a woman having four men? You can impregnate the four wives at the same time. You can impregnate the four wives at the same time, and we know who the parents are, right? So yes. you, let's say you had four pregnancies. You'd know who the mother is because <laughs> she's carrying the baby, and you know who the dad is, top G. If you had a woman with four men and she gets pregnant, who's the, who's the parents? What about if... The, no, I'm asking. Okay, Do you know? I ask, what if they're different races? Answer white, the question. You don't Answer know. the question. You don't you know. Don't now, modern them, science bro. can come along and maybe fix that for you, but that doesn't mean it's not wrong in, in the eyes of God. The idea of having a family, the idea of a child being born, one of the baselines for a new life to come onto this planet is for at least to understand who the two people who made it are, at least. If you have a woman fucking four dudes, you don't even know who, who, who got her pregnant. So may I just it's say... Disgusting. Wait, wait, have you, have have you seen the twins that had two different dads? Oh, that's oh yeah, I saw that. May I just say something then? So if that is the case, oh. yeah, if the one thing that you're meant to have is you at least you know who the two people that put that child on earth are, then that's why promiscuity for men is also a problem because they get women pregnant. Sometimes they don't even know they have children. That's her right, no? No, it's completely different. It's different because you have to understand I'm talking about humans. You look at humans from a societal perspective, but society has changed, right? So let's say two, three hundred years ago. If a woman got pregnant, she needed a man to survive. If that man didn't take care of her during pregnancy, she was going to die. She couldn't mm. work a job. She couldn't hunt, couldn't fish, whatever, right? A woman literally needed that man for survival. So if, if you were to come to me and say I'm pregnant, but you've been fucked by four different dudes, mm. I'd be like, who says it's mine? Why am I looking after you? None okay. of them want to look after her. She will literally perish. This is why mm. in most of the world today... Still today, virginity is so coveted, and throughout all of history, it's been so coveted because that's the only way to ensure paternity. Mm -hmm. She's a virgin. I know that's my baby. She ain't yeah. a virgin. Prove it's mine. Outside of this modern science bullshit, shaitan, the devil we have here in the West, <laughs> in most of the world today, without virginity or at least a low body count or at least uh, 
anti-promiscuity, you can't tell that that's your baby. So mm. it's a completely different thing. You're looking at the idea of a man, a woman being pregnant and coming to a group of men and saying, one of you has to take care of me and put up with me when I'm fat and moody <laughs> and annoying and I need my bills paid. And all the men are going to sit there and go, no, fuck no, prove it's mine. You can't prove it. Bounce. Where it's different. If I get four women pregnant, we know the, we know yeah. the deal. Okay, so let me ask you a question. So obviously back then for survival, women needed a man. Otherwise, when they were pregnant, they could die and all of these things, they would perish. In today's society, given evolution, given the fact that as women we can you go still and get, need men. yeah, but I'm I'm not saying that. Isn't there a glitch between what is actually happening and the nature of what we have in our bodies? I think that's probably the conflict that we're having right now. Glitch in what way? In the sense that women don't feel like they need men in the most physical sense, we, perhaps yeah, like right. naturally. It's, it's very interesting. Women don't feel like they need men in a physical sense because life is soft, but it's mm. but it's but it's bullshit, and it's bullshit because you still need men by proxy. One and two, the second life gets difficult, you very quickly you very quickly learn how much you need men. But women will go, I'm an independent, I don't need no man because I have an OnlyFans, and men bear my OnlyFans, and if anyone comes up to me, I'll call a male police officer. I don't need men. Shut up, you fucking idiot. Of course you do. Mm. You just named your whole life is based on fucking men. The road you're driving on was paved by. A man. The house you're living in was built by a man. The car you're driving was, was designed by a man. Your whole life depends on men. And the second anything bad were to happen to you, the second you were physically threatened, or times were to get hard, or war were to start, or famine, or riots, the first thing you do is find a big strong man, shit yourself, and throw the feminism out the window. Mm. Feminism goes out the fucking window the second yeah. that the snow needs shoveling, or there's a fucking broken down car, or the tire needs changing. Then all that crap vanishes. It's garbage. And this is the actual the very interesting thing. I'll make a point here, which is going to get me canceled again, but I don't give a fuck. But, but, but this is the point. Feminism in and of itself can't be defended. Any idea, the point of an idea is that it can be defended by the people who believe in it. This has been the whole point of war since the dawn of time. It doesn't matter if it was the Christians against the Hindus. It doesn't matter if it was the Germans against the French. There were people who had ideas and ideologies, and they were prepared to fight each other to defend their ideology. Feminism is an ideology which cannot be defended by feminists. The only people who could defend feminism are the men who subscribe to the garbage. If, you, if all the feminists were to get in a, in, a, in a line and say, we want feminism, and the conservative men were to get in a line, you would learn very quickly it's bullshit. I had a friend in Afghanistan when Taliban kicked America out. And he told me, the Americans were, tell, were telling the girls they could go to school. So they built all these girls' schools, and they put the Afghanistani defense forces there, and they get funded the Afghani defense forces to, to, to protect these schools. You had American satellites, you had night vision goggles, Taliban were afraid to attack. America leaves. Now you have Afghani defense forces. They're basically blind. They don't have satellites anymore. Don't have, don't have uh, night vision, whatever. So now it's a real war. The men are standing next to this girl's school. The Taliban are coming. You're some dude. You're standing there, and you're looking at this girl's school going, I don't really give a fuck if girls go to school. Bounce. And you, just, and you didn't fight. So that's why they all gave up, and Taliban took over so quickly. And when I said this, the girl's like, yeah, they should have fought for us, feminism. Why don't the women fight? Can I ask? Oh, wait, the women can't defend their own fucking idea. You need men to defend feminism. So that's why the whole thing is stupid. So the second men don't defend it, it, does, it just fails as a fucking ideology. It's garbage. May I tell you something now? So this is the thing. This is when we assume that women perhaps don't have the physical or even mental ability to go to assume. a war. Assume. Wait, wait, wait. Because this is the thing. For example, in Ukraine, a lot of women took up arms. And in fact, I'm Angolan. Wait, wait. I'm Angolan. Wait, wait, I'm Angolan. And don't lie Listen, to the people at home. Wait, don't worry, I'll talk about my personal <laughs> you wanna story. Go to war? You no, fight wait, the let lines? me tell you, let me tell you something. This is the thing. I think it's also really, like, <laughs> silly to assume that, for example, a woman, because she didn't go to school, she'll not be as intelligent as a man. Therefore, naturally, a woman is not intelligent. No, it doesn't make sense. If we're nah. not starting to normalize equality and we want to put everybody in the forefront, give a woman a Who's gun. Who's normalizing equality? Well, that's what, what people are wanting. Then that, that's people the case. Like who? Let me tell you, Auntie. Who wants to normalize let equality? Me, People like, oh, feminists. Who no, else wants to? I want, well, actually, no equality. I want respect. That's really Yo, what I want. stopping you from getting respect. Exactly. No, no, I get respect. I, I get, respect. get respect. I get respect. So, That's you what just I want said you want respect. respect. What I think is... You don't even know what you want. I'll tell you what I want. You don't know what you want. You want I, as a woman, I carry myself respect. differently. I actually hold the things that I have done in the fight side for. I hold it. That's why when you speak to me, I don't move different. I move different to many of the girls. That's why when you talk to me and you argue with me, I, I don't, don't take it. You do sometimes. And I'll tell you something. A lot of women may have the accolade to be somebody, but they are uncomfortable to own that. And the reason why, then I would like to ask you, for example, um, I do need a, woman, a man, for example, to, you know, procreate. But other than that, I'm quite strong. And I would find things, that, I would find a way to protect myself differently. It, with that mentality, Denava, what would be Denava, the man that would be for me it. then? Denava, Denava, what would you do if one of these security guards broke into your door? 
What would I do? <laughs> okay, you, I'll tell what you. What would you do? What would One, you do? No, seriously, there's she's no guns a, she's, here. She's a feminist. I'll she's tell you. No, I'm not a she feminist. She was straight. I'd say I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a feminist. I, I'm, I'm a bit smarter. Okay, Either okay. I'd play These dead. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, they see you're not dead. Uh, it's okay. They, they no, I'd be breathing. like this. And then if not, maybe I'll kind of like be very gentle and comply to find a way to get out okay, of it. So if they want to come and an, kill me, let's make an there's not much point. that many people but can do. But let's make an important point. You're talking about equality equaling respect. The way you get respect as a woman is by being feminine. There's nothing... Uh, we can be equal and very, very different. I'm not saying that there's not equality, but you've confused equality with the same. You can be equal equity. with completely different things. You can have a bishop and a knight on a chessboard. They're equal in terms of points, but they do different things, right? Mm -hmm. A woman can have equal respect to a man if she is very good at being a woman, and a man gets respect for being very good at being a man. When a woman decides she wants to act like a man or a man wants to act like a woman, that's where it all gets fucked up. We try and pretend yes. it's all the same. It's not the same. Men and women are good at different things. We have different strengths, different weaknesses. There's nothing wrong with accepting that. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm a woman, I'm good at X, he's a man, he's good at Y. Then we work together as a team, we have a beautiful family, we're happy forever. It's only confused where you have women who sit and go, no, because in the name of equality, we can fight and work. There's no fucking women on the front line in Ukraine. That is psyop bullshit. They put some chick there dancing around doing Pokemon dances to try and convince men to go yeah, fucking die in a ditch. It's garbage. If you go to the front line of Ukraine right now, you do not see women in their makeup and their manicures. You see fucking men in the freezing cold dying. You know where the women are? Dubai. Chilling. That's where the women are. So mm. to sit and pretend that women are just as capable physically as men is a fucking lie. It's delusion. To send that you're as strong as men is a delusion. You are good no at way. other things. You're better than men at a lot of things, but it's not the physical world. As many of you know, I was just banned on TikTok, and we are demonetized <laughs> on a daily basis on this platform. If you want to help, please consider sending a super thanks below. Every donation helps, and it helps make what we do possible. Oh, guys, she was she was banned on TikTok. Shut, agitated. <laughs> but this this was amazing, guy. Like this was amazing. I like, pray I don't get banned or something. But this was amazing. Like I enjoyed the content. Like the content was educative. Yeah, I must say. Like. <laughs> I, I love the fact that I see two people with two different opinions trying to trying to like put it to light, like trying to explain, oh, this is what I think, and you trying to explain your vision, then we, we try to narrow it down to the right answer. It's just an amazing thing, guys. Like I, I enjoyed this podcast and I think I want to watch more of this. So guys, if you have any of the recommendations, leave it in the comment section. I want to check it out. Guys, don't forget to like, just got my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Please.